groceries to What are you talking about? That's not groceries. What is that? Come here and look. It's about 96 degrees in here. Um, it goes in the middle of the day, like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It'll, it'll jump up to like 102, 103. I love it, but I'm, I don't want to be skeptic. I don't want to be negative, but it's so hot. I feel it's hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> they, they cop a feel on everyone, I was going to say, that guy's got the best job. He touches every girl's butt that comes in here. <laughs> when you dream about living on a boat, you think of endless sunsets, freshly caught dinner, Woo! Oh my God! and having not a care in the world. This is the most traffic I've seen in this mooring area ever. Everyone's like, I gotta get my veggies. That may be true for the day cruisers, but for liverboards like us, these moments do exist, but leaving your cares behind is nowhere close to reality. Any, 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 any docking where nothing gets hurt or broken is a good docking. And pampering, well, you'd better have either a ton of money or some really good luck. In other words, we rarely do it. So, this mmm that you're hearing, that's our fans. We've convinced ourselves that they actually do something. I think they only do something if you're sitting directly in front of them. But, but when push comes to shove and the right opportunity arises, pampering does happen. It just does not look as pretty as the fairy tale might suggest. It's a laundry and a coffee shop all in one. And someone needs a bathroom. Join us as we make survival in Colombia that much more tolerable. Oh my God, please work. Please work. And treat ourselves to a rustic spa day. <laughs> At this point in my life, anyone can touch me if they want a massage. Thank you so much to our patrons whose support make these episodes possible. Today's an exciting day here on the boat. We've been longing for a piece of equipment to be on this boat for a very long time, at least in, since we've arrived in this part of the Caribbean. Because, well, what we've learned is that there's two different types of people that we've, we learned this yesterday, two, two different types of people on board boats in this part of the world. The ones that have air conditioning and ice maker and, and the rest of them. Well, we're not getting an ice maker, but we are getting a small stand-up little air conditioner and we're super excited. I saw something come through a WhatsApp group and someone selling their AC because they're leaving. I don't know what their story is, but they said, if you want it, come get it in 10 minutes. We're leaving the dock and it's yours for 50 bucks. I'm gonna go get it right now. And the best part about this entire story is that Jessica's not yet back in the Annapolis Boat Show. So she doesn't know this is happening. They claim that it works that works the boaters all boaters are honest and um when jessica comes on board she's gonna see air conditioning on board oh my god i know i know i don't know what we're gonna do when we're an anchor because we don't have enough battery capacity and our inverter is not exactly big enough but for 50 bucks we're gonna be here for like four months that's better than the price of a rental and i see it you are the key to my happiness oh my gosh yes yes oh my gosh so this right here is how we manage our air conditioning right now. These little fans. They work well. Largo, how do they're you like them? They're not bad. They're, they're very useful work they do, which is fan us. But we need something more, more heavy duty. We added this hose underneath, which is gonna be where any condensation comes out of. And then it did not come with a, any Rest. type of, yeah, any type of AC flex pipe uh, to go ahead and let everything go. Look at that, it just it just doesn't fit. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is tape it on because this is supposed to be a, a, a surprise for Jessica when she, when she arrives at the back of the boat. Yeah, yeah, check out that. I'm gonna try first, honestly, with our inverter because this says that it works on 750 watts, which I'm, I'll be shocked if it does, but if it does, then our inverter can handle it. Um, if, it if it can't, then we have to go with four power. So we're going to see how much our very antique converter can do for us here. There we go. Yay. Sentry's, look at, look at Sentry, she's like, give me that AC. Sentry's actually a little scared of this. All right, are you ready for this? Is there an on button? Yep. How's that working? 32, at? how hot is 32? 32's, 32 is probably what we're feeling right now. It's really hot. 22. There you go. Feels nice. I can feel it a little bit. Do you really feel it? Uh, just a little bit, honestly. Our inverter is rated for 2,000 watts, which means that you probably only get like a 1,600 watts. So this is within the range. Um, 
what I can do but right now. Whoa, it's really taking a toll on our batteries. There's not a lot of sun. Yeah, no, I don't doubt that. Um, right now, you can see our voltage dropping like there's no tomorrow. I think it works. Do you think it works? I think it works, yeah. The speed button isn't working for some reason. But I think it works. Okay. Home sweet home. This is the best part about a homecoming, is all the boat supplies that come back with it. I feel like we just came back to the United States, but no, we still needed more. <gasps> Where did you get that? That was a little surprise. It what? <laughs> Someone gave you that for free? No, no, we, oh. we paid for it. Where did you get that? Off the WhatsApp group. I don't feel it. I don't feel cool in there, though. Well, it's taking its sweet time. What do you mean? It, ouch. Um, I don't think it works. No, I'm serious. It, it seriously isn't working. Oh my God! Please work. Please work. Please work. Who is selling this? Someone who just left the dock. And they just didn't want it. Yep. Where are they going? Uh, they, they went on anchor. They couldn't do it with their with their setup. I don't think we can either. Can we? Uh, after we get more solar, maybe. I have to get my clothing off. Holy shit, it's hot. Honestly, it's horribly hot in here. Hi, Largo. Oh my god, I hugged the AC before Yay. I hugged you. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's so hot. Alright, so last time was a bit of a dud because last time we tried to get it going with the inverter. I think this unit is 50 cycles. It's 220 volts. The, the dock is 220 volts and 60 cycles, which means that if I run it through here, the engine or the motor inside here the engine the motor inside here may actually run a little bit faster but i've asked a lot in a lot of forums and they said see what happens and for me um we we spent 50 bucks on this thing and so we'll see how it goes and if it breaks well i don't want it broken i know but I'm i don't know what to tell you i get that i get that and it's 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 it's, it's, it's a real good bargain find we have here also, I, I got a, bit, a little bit of acrylic and we had a hole put through it. And so we're gonna push this through right here. Look at that, it fits right there. Listen, this is not a perfect science here. But, but it sure beats, what would it cost to have it piped in? 20,000? And this is, this is, <laughs> this is our DIY air conditioning extravaganza. It doesn't have to last forever. All right, so it's plugged in. I mean, it only feels good if you're like right in front of it like this. I mean, are all three of us going to be like right here with our computers? <laughs> I got it. I got it from, I want it from 12 to 2. Welcome to your, to your local home present. Well, I love it, but I'm, I don't want to be skeptic. I don't want to be negative, but it's but, so hot. I feel it's hopeless. Wonderful. <laughs> I feel hopeless. I feel like this isn't going to work. Look at this. Here we go. And we have help this week. Do you think someone can fix my glasses? <laughs> did you talk? Did you talk to, about Pedro? No, and this is the first time oh, we're talking about him. Oh, I get to introduce him then. Okay, so he's been with us all week, and we haven't filmed a ton because we've been working all of us like mad. He came to us through Workaway, and we thought since Avalon was gone, we have this extra cabin, that it would be really fun to have another person on board nice young person with a lot of energy um and we thought largo would get to hang out with him quite a bit but largo is drowning in schoolwork because he's going to visit his sister next week but he is here and we're having he he works about five hours a day and we're having a cultural exchange as well during meals and to be honest pedro i wish we had more time to spend with you and we weren't working so much he's right over there guys um but i i find this really fun i like it and i would like to do it more this is our first time doing it what, what we're realizing that is if pedro can edit he would be actually on board full time <laughs> forever <laughs> we'd never let him go i mean this is a good time to say it's kind of crazy because we didn't really talk about this but we have been thinking about bringing an editor on board um they'd have their own cabin um there's probably none if very little pay involved but your food and your accommodations no no there's sailing. pay there's, there's there is pay yes. we'll be probably like, to discuss like the it, joy of uh, sort of the joy, traveling around the world the joy of traveling around the world with our nut fat shit crazy family but um i don't know i don't know do you want me to say this on youtube we'll see i don't, I don't know, know if anyone's interested i mean it's kind of just very informal i just threw this on will so um <laughs> you know send me a message jessica at worldtowning.com 
Uh, we'd prefer people with experience, but if you don't and you're willing to learn, awesome. We're heading to um, Sandblast next, so yeah. that might be an epic opportunity if anyone want to join us. I'm and I guess we'll probably get something a little more formal together of like what we're looking for, right. but someone that is multicultural or wants to be around lots of culture, eat different food, have a new experience, you can't be on this boat if you're racist, chauvinistic, or homophobic. Or Today is Adventure Day for our family. We don't get to call them Adventure Days because we actually think every day is an Adventure Day. Today's like a legit a Adventure Day and we're taking Pedro out to go see stuff. He's actually seen more of South America than we can ever imagine. Maybe because he grew up in South America. But uh, today we're hanging out in Colombia and we're going to go do something kind of exciting. We're going to get a, a mud scrub. Well, like like said, a legit mud scrub. Since he's been on the boat with us for um, a, a, close to a week, and it's kind of primitive. Even though we're in a marina, it's still kind of primitive. We want to make sure we send him home with his skin all nice and glistening right. and exfoliated. And he's gonna be <laughs> a, a true old towner after all this. <laughs> Where are we going, Jess? Hola. Hola. Amigo. Una pregunta. Estamos. Queremos ir hasta el al volcán. Eh, pues anyway. El totumo. El totumo, sí. 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 Si nos vamos y tú esperas con nosotros, entonces ya regresamos, ¿cuánto cobra? Eso cobra en dos y medio, 250. Lo, y lo, lo hace por 200. 220. He wants 220, that's fine, that's fine. Vamos. Sí, sí, ok. Ok, 220. Ok, yeah. ¿Y espera? Sí, claro. Sí, como no. Ok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ¿Y tiene aire acondicionado? Sí, sí, ok. Perfecto. Buenos días. Ok. <laughs> Nothing but style for you, Pedro. Huh? We're going in style this time. Air conditioning. <laughs> oh, good. We were heading to Totumo Volcano, or locally known as El Totumo. It's about 45 minutes outside of Cartagena, and it is the smallest volcano in the country. The mound is approximately 50 feet above the ground, and it is accessible via a staircase that leads to the crater. So here we are in the middle of whoa, almost nowhere, except for it seems like this is the happiest place in the world. Everyone's having a great time, and I think that we're gonna get a little wet here. I think it's wow. This is definitely not what I expected. It seems a little more dramatic than what I expected. Right. Here, tourists and locals bathe in the dense, warm mud. According to local lore. The volcano used to spew fire, lava, and ashes, but it was turned into mud by a priest who believed it was the work of the devil. Basically what I learned from my research online is that you pay each individual that helps you about a dollar, like to watch your stuff, to wash you off from the mud after, to get you a drink, whatever the case may be. But I don't know, are we just gonna leave our stuff in the taxi? I don't know, I think so. I think we'll probably do that. We do have our cameras with us, but I, I see people going up there with phones, but I don't know how it all works. So it's, it's a new experiment for us. We'll have the GoPro with us. We'll have the GoPro. So Will over here is trying to change, and I was gonna hold the towel for him, but he refused my help, so. We might see a hairy butt pretty soon. We don't soon. have a lot of space here. Let's watch, Will. We gotta, Let me know when you need help, honey. The, the shorts are the easy part. You know, you underwear and everything off. I'm going to get on. Shorts. We're going to have to blur it out when the towel You've falls. Got my shorts. There we go. We'll zoom right in. <laughs> this is a PG rated expedition. It's a big love fest in here, look at that. It is. So apparently this whole thing is two kilometers deep. Two kilometers. 2.3 kilometers deep, the guy says. And because of the pandemic, the, the, the mud just rose all the way. It used to be pretty deep. You had to take because it. Because of the pandemic? Because no one was here. Ah, and okay. then And then all of a sudden now it's what it is. And it's, it's, it's almost overflowing here because no one's actually playing it. Look at this thing. So you can technically dive all the way to the bottom. I can't imagine you want to. That's probably so dangerous. When you get in there, I don't care if other people are floating, you hold on. Wow. I'm not going down there to get you. We'll never wow. find you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You gotta be careful now. Oh my god, it's a bar. It's not. Oh, but I want more. Oh, I'm hot. Okay. 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 Hey. 
you'll you start floating right away, or am I gonna just fall in and have to? No, you you will float. They make you float. You just like stay there because it's so thick. I'm gonna be the only person in the history of this thing who can't float. All right, I'm floating. I'm floating. Don't let go. Lay down. Oh, are you sure about this? Don't let him touch you in places. Uh oh. I know that like laying backwards. Oh, it feels weird. I can't really relax too much because you know how I don't do well laying flat because of my neck. At this point in my life, anyone can touch me for a massage. Okay, and then oh, okay, so you get like a little bit of wow. My tea gets good. It's like laying in like a batter of chocolate cake. Only it doesn't taste like chocolate. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> if I got some in my mouth, Isn't this, that? <laughs> no, I can taste wow, it. Like, and right now, I'm floating like a sponge. I'm still want to hold on. I'm still holding on. I'm still nervous. Okay, I'm not holding on right now. I'm not holding on. Nothing. No, I'm not holding on. One of the other reasons we came is because it's also Largo's birthday, and we know this would be right up his alley. Largo, run as fast as you can. <laughs> Your birthday cake's coming soon. Oh my gosh, Largo just farted. No, I didn't. I saw the bubbles. <laughs> that little tiny bubble. Largo, you're 15. It's, oh it's not working. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Is this too weird or is it? Do you like it? It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the, the cool thing about this place is that everyone's got a smile on their face. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, no the, one's upset here. No, the people are upset they left already. Until the dude with the taxi well, takes off and steals all their stuff. I'm going to be everywhere. pulling mud out of my ears and I, I'm hoping I'm going to have the best night's sleep I've ever had in my entire life tonight. Yeah. You want me to freak everyone out? What? <laughs> <laughs> To make it back to the ladder, you have to like basically almost like run underneath because <laughs> it's the only way to get back and forth. Oh my gosh, you can barely pull yourself out of this. Oh my God. You're about to crust apart. It never looks so sexy. <laughs> oh, look at that, just fall off the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Oh my Margo? god, there's still more coming off. Oh my god, it's coming out of everywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Come on. Oh my god, it's like because my shirt has like two layers. It's like coming everywhere. Do you guys have that much or is it just my outfit? It's just, <laughs> it's a slippery walk down. <laughs> Look at this. You've never seen grown men so gentle footed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Largo. Largo's like boom, 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 boom. After you gingerly walk down the steps to the base of the volcano, it is then time to rinse off in the adjacent lake. And if you thought the fun ended with the mud, think again. Oh my God. <laughs> Your pink is still there, Jeff. I think a boom's gonna fall out. <laughs> Look, he's running away. Fair, don't run away. <laughs> so this oh is God, the part so after funny. the the butt experience where you just go into the lake next door, and then next thing you know, you're you get grabbed off. You're harassed. <laughs> but this is awesome. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the ball put him in your hand. <laughs> this dude. I know, Sentry. Come here. Come here. I know it's hot. Come here. Come up here. Look. Feel this, girl. Feel that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Whoa. Happy birthday to. I can't get in the door. <laughs> Do you think anyone ever comes in here naked? Oh, I, I'm sure there are I, some. I'm naked right now. <laughs> I think I'm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you missed some fun. <laughs>